My top 10 ways to know if you're a beta male. Number 10, you use social media for clout and not career. Number nine, you're the most successful of your friends. Number eight, you put women before your purpose. Number seven is you have to use substances to take away the pain of your own life. Okay, this is a super beta trait and the reason being is because this makes you weak. You're addicted to pleasure. Oh, smoke something, something, drink something, something, now I'm good. And six, you complain that you wish the game was easier instead of you becoming better. Number four, you have FOMO and cannot be alone. What is FOMO? Fear of missing out. Number three, you tolerate disrespect from your dating companion. This is a short one. Because you live in scarcity, you do not have the ability to replace them. Agreeing with everything that she says. It's totally okay to disagree with a woman on certain things. This shows that you have a spine. This shows you have a backbone. This shows that you have your own opinions. This shows that you're not needy. You're not, this shows that you're not desperate to please her, desperate to agree with everything she says. It shows you're not to manipulate your way into her panties. When a guy disagrees with everything a woman says, she loses respect for him, and she thinks to her head, she'll think, is this guy just agreeing with everything I say so that he'll so that I'll sleep with him? Because, and, and don't be mean about it, be playful, funny about it. But I think, honestly, I think that women realize that they say stupid shit half the time. And when a guy doesn't call them out on saying stupid shit, they pick up on it and like they lose respect for you and they realize they think, this motherfucker is just trying to sleep with me. He didn't disagree with me. I said something totally retarded just then. Why didn't he call me out on it? In today's video, I'll be discussing the top five traits that turn women off in a guy. And if you do these five things, not only will you lose the attraction of the woman you're dating, but you may also lose the woman you really want to be in a relationship with. The reason for this is that the inner masculine qualities that make you attractive can only be expressed through demonstration and action. And today, I'm going to show you specifically what not to do. Let's jump right in. There's no need to preface anything. Number 1. Associating meaning to irrelevant things that affect you mentally. The things that will weaken you or make you a beta male are the things that don't matter. So, let me give you an example. You look at your text messages on your phone and notice that your girlfriend hasn't responded because you associate meaning with that and you care that now affects your whole day. You will even begin to feel a bit more lethargic and depressed and suddenly it comes through in your voice, in your confidence, in your swagger. When you care, you lose. Therefore, whether or not you begin to fall into an emotional frame will depend on the things that you associate meaning with in terms of how other people interact with you. You need to train yourself to become less affected by the things that used to bother you. Just ignore it if a girl doesn't contact you back. Don't be discouraged if a person at a bar rejects your high greeting. You have an impenetrable emotional defense. The things that define a man disappear all of a sudden if your emotional defenses can be breached. You will lose your financial footing, your motivation, your ability to make sound financial decisions, and your focus on your ultimate goal if you start giving meaning to things that are, in reality, of no consequence. That's because you've mistakenly placed your importance on things that really don't matter at all. And it's as if, once you actually live by this code, the chains that have held your emotions hostage for years are broken, and you can function like a strong, independent man. Number two, being so emotionally invested in someone that you can't break up with them despite their bad behavior. The magnitude of this one consistently surprises me. If you're so invested in someone that they can embarrass you, cheat on you, and humiliate you in front of your friends, and you still can't bring yourself to leave their company, you might want to reevaluate your attachment to them. That's like asking the schoolyard bully, hey, can I buy you lunch? The day after he punches you in the face. That's the way it works. It is the height of disrespect and weakness to form attachments to people, no matter what they do to you. I would go so far as to say that if that is how you are treating the girl you are seeing, whether it is a long-term relationship, a short-term relationship, or a girl you have just met, that relationship cannot be saved. Your mental image of yourself in that other person's head does not reflect your true self. It is an emotional decision, an act of attachment, and a demonstration of dependency. It's not going to work out if that describes you. Number three, 
Focusing on the people you're with rather than the things you're building. Keep that in mind. If you care deeply about other people and their lives, and don't let your own ego and the world it creates become the center of attention. Building could mean creating a successful business, advancing in your chosen field, increasing your wealth, or any number of other goals that appeal to your independent spirit. Masculine behavior entails emphasizing oneself rather than others. As soon as you stop prioritizing yourself in favor of other people, your motivation will dwindle, your mood will worsen, and your drive, dominance, and masculinity will all diminish. This is a major turnoff. To put oneself last is point number four. If you're seeing the girl and you're not interested in spending time with her, but you find yourself attending social events with her and her friends anyway, traveling for her special event or visiting her family, you might be guilty of this. Spending time doing things for other people when you should be doing things for yourself, like listening to music and going to concerts, festivals, and museums in which you have no interest. It's indicative of a lack of integrity to waste time on activities that you don't enjoy. To keep the other person demonstrates that you are willing to sacrifice your own identity and interests. There's a lot of desperation here. Number 5. Caring about intimacy. It's a sign of weakness and softness if you worry about small things like whether or not you get a handhold, a goodbye hug, a kiss on the cheek, or if she texts you back. If you give a hoot about any of the things I mentioned above, you need to get out of bed, act like you own the place, and create things that help you rise in the ranks and improve your social standing, career opportunities, and personal wealth. That's the fairest way to avoid having to deal with the BS that 99% of guys have to swallow every day. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button to get more dope content like this every day. Till next time.